I'm Zavi, you're here today. I am going to tell you a story that's a little bit embarrassing. And it starts with last week. Um, since I came home, I made the bold and courageous decision to go on dates with strangers. Um, for, you know, people that I meet online. That's always kind of scary. I don't feel like it's a secret that I'm not really a huge fan of dating. It has this way of like really just like finding my little insecurities and just like jamming them. So I'm going to talk about one of the reasons why I hate dating so much in this video and it started when I was just a wee little 16 year old lass. There I was, 16 years old, and I went on a date with this one guy. Then like a week or two later he asked me out on another date. After an hour of waiting for him, he finally called me and I'd been like texting him and I was like afraid to like leave my bedroom because my parents were like, has he called yet? Like, where is he? What's going on? And I was like, I don't know. And it was so embarrassing to see my parents. That's like the worst kind of embarrassment to be embarrassed in front of your parents. He finally calls me and then he said that he couldn't because he got in trouble with the parents. And then I was like kind of bummed and I was like, also you should have called me like an hour ago. You know, like you should have let me know that you weren't coming to pick me up because otherwise I'll just waiting in my room. And then that night, one of my friends told me I need to get on Facebook to talk about prom with someone else, because again, 16. And then like the first thing that I see on my newsfeed was someone else saying that they just went on a group date with everyone and then the boy that was supposed to take me on a date was listed in that. So I was pretty angry and I like commented on that status and I said something passive aggressive. And then I like messaged him because he was on, like his little green light was on. Um, and so I messaged him, you know, said some, said something kind of snarky, which for 16 year old Sarah was like a big deal. Like it's pretty crazy that I actually was like calling someone out for doing something. I just started going on dates and stuff. This guy stood me up and took someone else on the date that he asked me. There's more to that story that's even more embarrassing for me, like that I accidentally a year later was writing out my feelings and was going to delete them, but when I went for the apostrophe I hit the enter button because I'm an idiot and then it sent and all these feelings that I had but wasn't going to actually express because there's like a difference, you know, when you have like a problem with someone and you just like kind of want to keep it to yourself versus like when you have a problem that you need to talk to about someone and like because I felt like I didn't really need to be like disgusted anymore, like it was just really hard and so <laughs> the thing that I sent it was like the worst and not like that. He like kind of put it back on me and was like, you're the one who said it was okay. And I'm like, no. And not like that. Like, cause I, I mean, I did kind of, but I was like 16 and insecure and this guy was like fun and cute or whatever. And he's like friends with like guys that I thought were really cool. And so I wanted to still come across as like <laughs> someone cool, which really meant actually that I wanted to come across as a pushover so that if anyone ever hurt my feelings that, uh, they would still want to be my friend instead of standing up for myself, which is really sad, especially now that I'm saying it, not only realizing it for the first time, but also in public. And I know I could edit it out, but I'm not going to. Anyway, so this last week I went on a date with this guy and he was fine. I wasn't like, oh, I need to go on a date with him again. But like we talked a lot and like we had opportunities to like go back to our cars, but we were like, oh, let's just keep walking. Anyway, so um, as soon as I get home, I get a message from him and he's all like, thanks for coming with me, but like, I feel like it's really obvious, um, that our personalities don't match up and like said something else and then like said good luck or whatever. Which like, on one hand, I appreciated like the upfrontness and like communicating that. But then on the other hand, it was also like, you just rejected me and I didn't even ask for that. Not only that, I was like really cute and funny and you didn't make me laugh one time. Is that me being petty? Yes, because I'm trying to reserve the small amount of confidence that I have. And the only thing I really know is that I'm kind of funny and I'm pretty cute. That's what I'm working with. So then like that hurt. And then like I was supposed to go on like a second date with this guy that actually like felt like I connected with a lot more than I thought I would. He said that we would like hang out after he had this family thing and then he just like never texted me. And then, oh, and then the next day, um, I was supposed to go on a date with this other guy, also from a dating app. So all these guys are from dating apps. The night before we were like, like tweaking the little plans. And then he like unmatched me. And I was like, what is wrong with me? Like, am I that undateable? So for like a day and a half, I was just like throwing this little pity party. And then I was thinking about it, I was like, wait a second. 
I know that I'm cute. I know that I'm funny. And I know that I have a lot of good things to offer. I shouldn't be hurt or sad because some average looking, uninteresting 20 something year old like decided that I wasn't worth their time. The moral of the story is if you get stood up, it's not your fault. I mean like check yourself and make sure that you're like respectful and like, you know, trying to actually communicate. But if someone makes plans with you and forgets them or asks someone else out, it's not you. It's not because you're forgettable. It's not because you're not pretty or attractive enough or funny enough or whatever. It's because they're a dirt bag. If someone stands you up, then that's them.